Welcome to our next video. Knife Sharpening starring Dwayne Van Abama. What are you doing today? Napping. Okay. I'm sharpening knives. I thought you were napping. Now I'm sharpening knives. Okay. This is a diamond sharpening stone. The blue side is 45 microns, which is fairly coarse. The red side is 25 microns, which is fairly fine. And I don't think you really need anything finer than uh, 25 microns for kitchen knives. I put a little water on your stone to keep the diamonds from clogging up. Those are diamonds? Those are diamonds. I never had a diamond this, like that. This is like worth like like a half a million dollars. Wow, what did you pay for this? I think about twenty-five dollars. Oh. I got a good deal. I guess. You never got me a diamond like that. Yeah, well. The first thing you do is pick your angle. Uh, if you do too steep of an angle, your edge will be uh, blunt and won't cut very well. If you do too shallow of an angle, your edge will be thin and it will dull quickly. So you want to pick something in between. on a blade like this that's about an inch and a half wide. I would say the back side of the uh, knife would be up maybe three-eighths of an inch or so. It's important to try to hold your angle even. You can sharpen in one direction, the other direction, or both directions. It really doesn't matter. I like to just hold it and go back and forth. Big blade like this, it's easier to do the bottom section and then the tip section afterwards. Spend about, oh, I would say three or four minutes on each side with the coarse grit. Can you buy these on Amazon? Sure. We'll put a link below, huh? Yeah, I don't know. You might. I won't. <laughs> you might have to help me find them. Okay. Some people like to hold the knife stationary and run the stone back and forth like this. Whatever you like better, just whichever you do, make sure you try to hold that angle constant. That's the trick. Okay, that's enough for one side. Other side of the blade. And when you're done with your whetstone, you should wash it like with a kitchen scrubber under wa running water, maybe even with a little salt to clean it out. You like it? Yeah, don't, don't hurt yourself. 
Now we're gonna turn it over and use the. Oh, you turned this over. Yeah, turn the stone over. Oh, yeah, it's red dot. And use the finer grit. The red dot side. 25 microns. 25 microns. Is and that like carrots? No. Once you uh, did a good job on the blue side, you shouldn't have to do as long uh, sharpening on the red side. You're just kind of polishing the edge. So a minute or two on each side is just dandy. Flip it over and do it again. How often do you do this? Maybe once a month. And you use your knife a lot. Yes. Out hunting elk with it this morning. Did you get any? No. I saw some deer poop though. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I don't care what anybody else thinks. What are we doing now? Well, when you're done with the sharpening stone, sometimes leave a little burr edge on the edge of the knife, which you can't really see without uh, a magnifying glass usually, or at least I can't. But to take off that little wire edge and to polish the blade you can use uh, a strop stick which is just a board with leather on it when you use a strop stick you always only go away from the edge otherwise you'll cut the leather You also use a steeper angle with the strop oh. than you would with the stone because you're really not cutting the steel anymore. You're just burnishing the edge. We're going to check to see if our knife's sharp. Take a green pepper, slice the top off, gut the guts. If your knife's sharp, you shouldn't have to slice the green pepper should be able to just chop straight through and it'll cut easily. Wow. If, you, if you have to slice, your knife's not sharp. And when you chop onions, if your knife is sharp, your eyes won't water near as much as when your knife is dull. Oh, wow! So, because when a dull knife smashes the fibers and releases all that stuff into the air, Wow! If a knife is sharp, it slices cleanly through the fibers and uh, doesn't release near as much stuff in the air. Are you uh, crying? I ain't crying. I ain't crying either. I ain't crying. <laughs> I got nothing to cry about. <laughs> and that's how we sharpen our knives. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.